Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show and we're kicking off with some amazingly exciting news. That's right, I am back. Yeah, that, that's it. Oh. Yeah. If it's not about me, then what is it about? Well, Charles Albert, you know the dude known for his uh, barefoot climbing escapades? Yes. He has climbed what he reckons is the world's second 9A boulder problem. The boulder is in Fontainebleau, France, and Charles has named it No Capote Only. Charles spent 20 sessions working the boulder and it links several difficult moves together with multiple 8A and 7C sections, as well as two far harder crux moves. So this is a bit of a controversial one because obviously the world's second 9A, mm -hmm. Nali Hikataival, he did the first one, took him years, there was a lot of media attention, and yeah. then out of nowhere, Charles has sort of rocked up and claims this 9A. Out of nowhere. He's kind of been on the scene for a while, but yeah. like he's like been kind of like he's shadowy. Underground, isn't he? underground yeah. yeah. And he's he has, barefoot as well, so. Well, exactly. But that's, that add, that adds digits. Well, he reckons, so <clears throat> on Planet Mountain or something, or AA, I can't remember, he was saying how it. So he reckons if you did, if you wore climbing shoes, yeah. you'd have to have really, really soft ones to right. do it the same way he did. There might be other beta. The thing is, I was reading, so Charles has done, he's done multiple 8Cs and he's done one 8C plus, And a lot of those haven't been repeated in front. So he climbs super hard. So he, he should know what a 9A feels like if he's done the other ones. Yeah, and, and as you said, it's linking up, uh, what is it linking up? It's linking up an 8A and... Yeah, it's like a few, few 8A moves, it finishes with a 7C plus, and then the crux is way harder than that. So it's potentially got 8A moves into 8C moves into 7C plus moves, so it's, it's hard. It's great. I think it's brilliant with the evolution of the sport. When like we've got a second nine A. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, Twenty sessions. Yeah. And that kind of links quite nicely to the next bit of move. Uh, bit of bit of move. Sorry. Move with the bit news. Of news. Bit of news. Uh, Jimmy Webb and Daniel Woods have done the hardest boulder problem in America. Jimmy Webb and Daniel Woods have made the first and second ascent of what is thought to be America's hardest boulder, Sleepwalker V16 AC Plus in Black Velvet Canyon, just by Las Vegas. The climb features seven to eight moves of hard, sustained climbing and took Jimmy 11 sessions. Along with Nali Hukatevo, Jimmy and Daniel have launched their new climbing YouTube channel, Mellow Climbing, and it was on this platform that they published Jimmy's Ascent, which was made back on the 15th of December. Nali has also had a go on the problem, but it was a couple of days ago that Daniel made the second ascent on his second trip out to the boulder. Okay, so what's quite interesting about this and links quite nicely to Charles Albert is that Charles Albert had 20 sessions on that, Jimmy Webb had 11 sessions on that. We know how strong uh, and how good a boulder Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Webb is, one of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, Nali Hukatavel had a go and it can't do it. So, I don't know, maybe there's some kind of like mathematical equation in the amount of sessions it takes. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think we. I don't think anyone's saying that Charles hasn't climbed it. It was just slightly unexpected. Yeah, like, true. It, it was kind of like, I mean, I think he knows what he's doing. No one's questioned Nali's um, grade of 9A. No one's really questioning Charles's. Yeah. No one's repeated either route, so it's kind of up for grabs. But it's just, yeah. I mean, it's just interesting that he did it. Well, it's also, well, I guess when Nali did his, it was very well publicized. Exactly, yeah. It was like, whereas it's just come out of nowhere, isn't it? Yeah. Nobody really knew about this problem. No, apart from his mates, I guess. Yeah. He spent 20, se 20 yeah. sessions <laughs> dragging them all in. A bit of time doing it, yeah, for sure. Um, the mellow thing's interesting, because because you, right, ages ago, we were at the Sisu Masters, remember that, like three, three years, years ago, ago yeah. yeah. And we were sitting with um, Jimmy and Daniel and Dave Graham, and they were all talking about this media platform they wanted to create, where they mm -hmm. sort of took control back. Uh, and that's what they're doing with mellow. So they're, they're I guess, filming their own stuff, editing their own stuff, and putting it out on their own time scale rather than relying on, I guess, people like Filmmaker us. Filmmaker sponsors, <laughs> Epic yeah. TV, yeah. Like the middleman, they're just yeah. being like, boom, straight in. So it'd be interesting to see how that platform develops and if other climbers use that. Yeah. Because I think we've seen it in Europe. If you look at Magnus's vlogs, you know, people are filming their own stuff and using it. So it's just the next step to that, maybe. Absolutely, yeah. And and you should go and check out this, the, the channel. It's really good. It's like, they've got a certain style to their, mm, to their raw, films. Yeah, it? it's pretty raw and really cool, actually. Uh, so UIAA, I always say that wrong nearly, uh, ice climbing news because it's the second World Cup of the season uh, it stayed in China in Beijing. For the speed comps, the wall was 3D in shape and dimensions. It was Ekaterina Kosheva who took the gold medal for the women and Vladislav Yurov who took the victory for the men. The lead comp took place on an outrageously steep and overhanging main wall and the athletes struggled to top out the demanding feature. For the men, it was Nikolai Kozilov who climbed highest for the gold, and for the women, Maria Tolkalina took the win in a fantastic performance. 
It's now two gold medals out of two World Cups for both athletes, the perfect start to the season. So if you haven't seen it yet, it's worth looking at our Facebook pages during the UIAA, yeah? UIAA, UIAA yeah, double A. Double A uh, comps, because they are using our Facebook page to promote these mini videos. So they film little clips of interesting stuff. So you've got ice climbing dinos, ice climbing whippers, uh, speed climbing. It awesome. goes up on our Facebook page throughout the weekend. Yeah. So it's quite a cool way to check in and, and Yeah, check it cool out. little clips as well. Mm. Gives you a little insight into what's going on without having to necessarily watch the full live stream. Although yeah. the full live stream is, it's good. Worth a watch as it's well, good. definitely. It's a good way of getting into it. Yeah, definitely for sure. Okay, next up we are sticking with the ice tools as we are checking out a fast ascent solo in the Liberian Alps. Enrico Sasso has reported on Planet Mountain that he has made the first solo ascent of an impressive mix route on the north face of Maggieras in the Ligurian Alps, Italy. The climb is graded at ED 380 meters. Water Ice 4 mixed 7. After a tiring 4 hour approach and with not much equipment, Enrico made the ascent of a line which he calls beautiful, logical and difficult. So what really caught my attention of this was that it was a first ascent, it was a solo, it was in the Alps uh, and it was an incredibly impressive line. So that, that picture you see of it going up uh, straight up through the head wall, it doesn't look like it's in condition that much. Mm -hmm. Amazing line. Yeah. Um, and the grades on it, because like, so ED, water ice four, and M7, that's mm. like, M7 is hard, the yeah. solo M7, like. Yeah, really hard. And then, do you know what the ED stands for? I, so didn't, know, I didn't know that. I know, I know how it works, like F and PD and TD and all that, but I don't yeah. know what the French words are within that. So ED is extremement difficile, extremely yeah. difficult. And then it goes up from there, then it, then it comes back. It's kind of like, um, uh, like HVS and... So and what's like, the, the lowest grade is F, right? The lowest grade is F, which is facile, uh, easy. PD, per difficile, a little difficult. AD, assez difficile, fairly hard. D, difficile, difficult. TD, très difficile, very difficult. And then ED, extrêmement difficile, extremely difficult. Uh, so yeah, so fair play, Rico. I, that grade that you've given it is pretty hardcore. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so moving from mountaineering news seamlessly into more mountaineering Lovely. news. That's good that. China has a plan to clean up Mount Everest. The mountain, known as Mount Kuala Langma from the Tibet side, has an estimated 60,000 climbers, guides and tourists accessing it both from Tibet and Nepal. During the planned cleanup, China intends to restrict access to only 300 climbers and limit the season to just spring. So that's China's plan. Uh, the Nepalese, they also uh, attempted to clean up the mountain, but they've kind of got schemes that have been running for a while now. And they, from what I'm reading, they don't have similar plans just to kind of restrict it, but they are working with Sherpas to, to clean up the mountain. It feels like it's crazy the amount of people that go to Everest. Yeah, I think to be fair, that 60,000 is a little bit misleading because it's it would be that, I would imagine, is the people who come through. So there's, there's like a, a checkpoint before you come into the Everest region. Yeah. And it would just be everyone who goes into the Everest region. Oh, okay. So, I, I, I would so imagine. even if you're not, even if you're not climbing Everest, you have to go through that checkpoint. Yeah, you have you have to pass through. I, I do know someone who snuck round, but that's not a good idea, kids. Um, yeah, don't don't say his name. don't sneak round. But um, yeah, you have to go through. So I'd imagine that's just the people who are in that region. But still, we know how many people are on Everest. Also, apparently, China they're going to try to remove some of the bodies because if right. someone dies on Everest, it's not like there's a rescue team bringing people down. These bodies just stay there, and it's quite hard for the families and stuff. So apparently, China is going to bring some of them they're down. Gonna, as well. Okay, wow. Yeah. Nice. Okay, next up we've got the brand new 2019 9B counter with a new logo. 9B counter, 9B counter, 9B, 9B counter. And a new theme tune. That, yeah. was, that was a nice theme tune. That was good, that yeah. was good, wasn't it? Your voice is beautiful. <laughs> um, now last year we started this uh, promising that we would upgrade it to a more fancy 9B counter. Yes. Uh, we never did. We never did. And on that similar theme, uh, we've got some more paper. This is the start of the 2019 AC counter yeah. and the 2019 9B counter. So we decided to keep them separate, right? Yeah, I think so. I think I think if we were to combine, if we were to do a, the joint winner out of both of them, boulders would probably just win. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, we I might, think so. We might still do an overall winner. We'll yeah. Just see. Okay. So, we've got to do some writing. Yeah. Uh, Not well, on that one. No, that's the no 9Bs. No 9Bs. No 9B sport climbs. Uh -huh. However, in 2019 8C counter, Yeah. we got some news. Yeah, so Charles Albert, we started the show. Should we stick him up? Yeah, first one. Now, using, on the wall behind us, we've got your point system. So, 9A is three points. 9A is three points. Okay, fine. Okay, so. Uh, 
I mean, can we can we cut and then I come back once I've done this? Yeah. Okay. Let's cut back. Here's some uh, nice music. <laughs> Okay, so that was incredibly complicated, but this is the 2019 8C counter. So first up we have Mr. Charles Albert. Cameraman, are you exposing correctly for this? That is correct. Okay, correct. Uh, and Charles <laughs> Albert has done a 9A, so he gets three points, according to the point system at the back. Uh, Daniel Woods has repeated the line Sleepwalker, AC plus V16. Yeah, and the reason Jimmy Webb isn't on there is because Jimmy Webb <clears> did Sleepwalker 2018, Daniel came back, did it 2019. This is the 2019 counter. Because? because he knew he would be on it. Yeah, so well done, Daniel, well played. Uh, Jimmy, tough luck. Mm. And then this guy, Mr. Max Rauber. Rauber. Mr. Max Rauber has uh, snuck in there with an 8C. And Matt, Matt knows more about it than me. I do, and I've just forgotten the name of the boulder. Uh, the two, what was it called? The uh, two... Story of Two Worlds. Story of Two Worlds. Story of Two Worlds, which is a Dave Graham boulder in Cristiano. Yeah, and he, we met him at Blockhelden when we were there for the comp, uh, and he was doing very well there. So yeah, climbing yeah, hard. Yeah, nice one, Max. Good work. Boulder Max Bold uh, on Instagram. Climbs to the max. Yeah, let's, let's big up Max. Mm. Into now, the max. this thing is really complicated because we've made it really complicated. Um, and we love it when you guys tag us in everything. Yeah. Oh, literally, the only way that we'll be able to keep on top of this, especially with the 8C boulders, is if you guys keep tagging us. So tag Hugo, tag myself, tag Epic TV. On try Instagram, not to tag Facebook. any 8Bs or 8B pluses or 8As or... Yeah, and we're getting a lot of people being like, oh, this happened, but it was last year's. Just a little bit of research. Yeah, can you just, <laughs> just take a bit of time, <laughs> I mean, come on. breathe, take five minutes, and then and then tag us. Then think before tagging. Think before tagging is a good logo. Mm -hmm. No, no, 9B counter, no, 9B, 9B, 9B counter. Media time, because uh, there's some exciting things on the website. Yes, very exciting. Did what? I just cut you off then? You, no, 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 sorry. it's fine. I, <laughs> I, fine. I was gonna... about to say exactly the same thing. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so first up, I want to talk about the uh, Climbing Daily yesterday mm. that you shot, produced, directed, edited, Something funded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't got any money for that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's a profile about Mina Leslie Wijasic, who is a climber, mm -hmm. a very, very good climber. Yep. Do you want to give us a little well, bit of Well, we background? spent, so she's, she's an Arcteryx athlete. Uh, Arcteryx sponsor us and they're sponsoring us this year. So we thought we'd spend time looking at some of their athletes in a more in-depth kind of way. So I traveled to Malham, uh, where Mina was working an 8C project. Really like trying hard. There's something about going into a mental and physical place right up near your edge of your ability, which is really exhilarating and it gives me a real buzz and, and that's, I really like that. I like taking something, working it out, you know, breaking something down into bite-sized chunks, if you like, and then putting it back together to make a whole. And something that feels really impossible at the beginning can come together. So it was a pleasure working with Mina, and it's said in the film she did do the project uh, later on. But sort of an add-on to that is she her wrist. You see on social media, she, yeah. she, she ruined she her wrist. Broke it? To it. Yeah, broke, displaced, fractured, ruined. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so healing vibes to you, Mina, uh, and thanks for letting us work with you. Yeah, nice one. That is a super impressive video. I really like it. Oh, thanks, man. Awesome. What's next? Cold House Media in Japan. Japan. Yes, except they're not Japowing. No, no, they're no, bouldering. Jap rocking. Mm.
so I wanted to confirm something with this. Cold House Media is over, or is it not over? Because they're, they're, they're saying their trips come to an end. Their trips come to an end, but they... Uh, I don't really want to reveal too much okay. just yet, but I we will be seeing more of Cold House Media. They might just not be traveling so much. Okay, so the but, story continues. Or they will. The story continues, but it's going to be predominantly based in uh, America. But I'm not going to give away too much more, because they haven't given away too much more, so I want to like leave it to them to make the declaration, to declaration the world. of the world. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a bit of an emotional end to the story uh, in that it's been, what? 500 and something days. 500 and something days. Yeah. Uh, some amazing videos, really enjoyable. I've enjoyed every single one of them, uh, the vlogs that they've, they've, they've come up with. Um, so I'm gonna miss them being all over the place, mm. but we should see them some more. Cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna say any more. It's uh, shop news now. Uh, we've got, got two things to talk about. One is the fact that the winter sale is continuing. We've, we've talked about it the last two weeks. There's loads of bargains to be had, but once it's gone, that's it, it's gone. The items go, they're not gonna be restocked at that price. Um, so if you are, are older season items, you want a, like a bargain on a waterproof or an insulated yeah. jacket, it's, it's now's the time to do that. Absolutely. And then training gear. And then training gear, because everybody likes to go training in January. Dry January, you didn't dry January? Uh, I did, and uh, then you the second drinking. of January. All right. And then it all just stopped. Yeah. Yeah. That's impressive though. I, I don't like to, January. to restrict myself mm. from anything in life. Hair of the dog mm. is a difficult temptation to resist. I might have had a glass of wine on the second of January actually. No, first. No. I just drank. I haven't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> um, but training gear, yeah. So it's, we had um, some things out of stock, so all, all the Cafe Craft stuff, that was gone. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is now back in stock. So you can buy lattice rungs, Cafe Craft kits, Beast slag makers. boards, beast makers. Um, the 2000, I think, the, is the 1000? The 1000 is back in you stock. Do. The, 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 the I can just do light. We've got, we've got shop manager extraordinaire over there. So yeah, everything's back in stock now. So go and get some training gear. And on Friday, we're gonna be doing a special gear show on training gear. So if you want our best equipment and things you can use to get beastly strong, then that's what you need to check out. Beastly strong, beastly, beastly strong. squirrel. Mm -hmm. um, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, Sasfe this weekend. So Sasfe. the third ice climbing World Cup, the one yep. in the massive car park. I'm going along. Uh, Johan, the French Relay Vertical filmmaker, is going along. The best cameraman there for TV. But he's so good. <laughs> he's so good. Very, very good. So yeah, I'll be there. What are you doing instead of coming with us? I am supporting my wife on a nighttime trail run in Annecy. I was going to have a go at you, but that sounds quite reasonable, actually. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll see you next week for more stuff like this. Pretty good, right? It was good, good show. Yeah. Strong show. Bye. Three, two, one. Nine, 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 be counter, nine, be counter, nine, 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 n